Hey YouTube, it's XBMC Nut here again. Been a while, um, hopefully sounding a little better. Um, I wanted to show you how to use the Synology chat platform to get notifications from Home Assistant through to your mobile for free. Um, obviously the requirements are that you need a Synology NAS and um, uh, the ability to install the Synology chat platform on it, which I would suspect is nearly all of them. Um, so here is the Home Assistant web page on Synology chat. It was actually released in .65, um, but initially the platform uh, was only able to send a message, but in uh, I, I sent a tweet to the developer of the um, uh, the application and asked him if he could add in support for file URL which Synology support so he did that and that was added into 0.82.0 um, so that is down here now uh, now the caveat with Synology chat is that uh, Synology do not support files so you cannot uh, upload a file locally um, you need to use a URL. However, I'll show you a workaround for that. So you can actually send a file uh, that's in your config folder from Home Assistant because Home Assistant is running a web server on port 8123. Um, so we can um, we can use that to pick up a local file and send that through to uh, Synology Chat. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to go into your package center on your Synology NAS and search for chat and uh, we go in there and you see go through the install process it takes a little bit of time to sort this out i've actually got that running um, the other thing you want to do once it's installed is make sure that the users who you want to be able to use synology chat uh, have allow selected so this is my username and chat is allowed for that particular application so once you've got chat up and running, um, I've got an icon down here, I can launch that, but I'll just flick over here and uh, we're in the chat platform. Now what you want to do, you get a general channel and a random channel when you first set the unit up. Now I set up a new channel called uh, has.io and you just do that by setting up a channel here. You can uh, create one, it's a private channel, give it a name, purpose if you want, and that's about it. Um, but we've got one here called has.io. Now the secret source is the webhook integration. So once you've got your new channel, call it whatever you like. Um, you can even use the general and the random channels. It doesn't matter, but I prefer having a dedicated channel. Um, click on your avatar up here and go to integration. And we're going to create an incoming webhook. And what we'll do is if I go to create, um, you can see that we can add an icon there, which is what I've done. We can give it a, a name for this incoming webhook and then choose where we want that, what um, chat room we want that posted to. So we would select HASIO. Now, here is the, the second caveat. The webhook URL, I'm logged on to my Synology NAS with the chat program or and the um, uh, when I initially logged into the NAS, I logged in with my internal IP address on a HTTP port. So uh, if you do that, when you create the webhook URL, it will automatically create a webhook URL using HTTP for the internal IP. Now that's fine um, because your Home Assistant instance and your Synology NAS are on the same LAN. So that should not be an issue at all um, in my uh, actual live application because i'm using um, ubiquity networking hardware and i've got hairpin enabled on that reverse net lookup whatever you want to call it um, i can actually reach an external ip address um, from inside my lan and i've got a let's encrypt certificate on my synology nas so i am actually using an https connection to this an external ip now, um, the third caveat is that you cannot connect using this webhook URL to an HTTPS link if you don't have a certificate. So you've either got to 
use an internal address using HTTP with no certificate or an external address providing your Synology NAS can access that um, uh, but you have to have a certificate so um, I've just done this now actually if I cancel out of that and we want to leave if I go and have a look at the one I've got uh, no, that's just creating the um, internal address because I've uh, uh, it's giving me a, U, a new URL. But that's all you need to do. I'll just go back to that again. Give it a name. Tell it what channel you want to post to. SIO, and then just copy this. Um, that's the link that you need um, because we're going to use that in the configuration for Home Assistant. Right, so once you've done that, um, I did not get prepared here, but I should have um, config. We'll open this up. And luckily it's actually kept. So here it is here, um, if I go to my, that's my configuration we don't want, here's my notify one. So this is what you want to add now, platform Synology underscore chat, um, give it a name, I called mine Hass underscore Sino chat. And what you want to do here in the resources, you want to paste that webhook URL that was provided to you um, in the, the, the step prior. Um, of course, I've got mine in my secrets file because we don't want everyone to see that. Um, and then uh, to use that, what we're going to do here is I've set up a script. And this is um, testing an image. We're using the new service that we've set up. Um, there's no title supported in Synology chat. So you're just going to have data and a message. Um, so I've got test image attachment from HASIO. Now here's the uh, secret source. So file URL, you want to be using the internal IP of your uh, home assistant server and the port and the location where the images are, are local. And then I've got a folder in my www folder called images and I've just got to test one in there. Now if we go and have a look at that script, so um, use this URL here if you want to pick up a local file from home assistant. And what I have happening is when someone pushes my doorbell I have a camera snapshot which actually grabs an image from the camera looking at the front door and stores it in that um, images location called front underscore porch um, whenever anyone pushes the doorbell and then what I do in an automation is send that through to Synology chat now um, I was using push bullet but I hit their API limit and then they wanted me to pay $4.99 a month, which I objected to. So um, hence the use of this. So if we now go back to um, chat, so there's my Synology chat application. If I now go to Home Assistant and what I will do is bring up my mobile phone there with the Synology chat application. So. All you do is download the Synology chat application for Android or iOS and then log in to um, your NAS um, remotely um, uh, and with your username and password just as you would for any other Synology mobile application and um, what I'll do is I will just scroll up here and see that this is my notifications that are coming through from my system but um, if I come over here and push the button for test Sino chat and execute that go back to the S server there's the image um, coming through now so if I scroll back through that list uh, and we find the last doorbell push there's my wife coming home um, I can push that and I get pictures whoever was there um, prior to that, whenever my any of my gates open, whenever my uh, family come home, I get notified. So that's all happening in automation. So hopefully that should get you started with Synology Chat. And um, 
thanks to Mike who uh, modified the Synology chat program to allow for um, file attachments. Freaking awesome. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.